Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, yep, my mic is working. Good. How are you? Welcome to Wednesday. <laughs> I have no idea what day it is, I swear. Uh, it's It just feels like every day is a little bit more confusing. Uh, anyways, uh, happy Wednesday. It is another episode of But Make It Fashion. This is the show where I take a prompt and I create a fashionable outfit out of it. So today we are continuing the art but make it fashion and while i've been doing family members this entire time uh, i will be doing um not a family member but a really great friend of mine one of my best friends out here in la uh scott k leslie who is the bomb um i'm going to be taking some of his work today and making it to fashion so that's going to be the plan so we'll get started in a couple of minutes, you know, just to do all the other stuff. But I want to know uh, who's in the chat. How are you doing? It's good to, to see you. Um, I have no idea why my bot things are going already. I mean, that's fine. Oh, hi, Emmy. Welcome, welcome. Is today your day off? One of your days off? <laughs> right? It's Wednesday. God. Um, all right, let me pop, 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 pop. Oh, you know, it would help if I connected. <laughs> the bot is excites. It's not supposed to do. Oh, maybe it does do it because I have other music on today. I am using special music and I'm, oh, did I turn, hold on, did I turn on, yes, YouTube safe mode, good, because <laughs> I do not want this to get copy, copy stricken, um, hi Scott, how are you, yeah, how are both of you doing today, um, Scott, these will be familiar. <laughs> so these are the pieces that I had Scott send me. And um, the bottom two are paintings that are done on small canvases. And then the top one is a digital cleanup of one of his D&D &D maps. So I wanted, I wanted him, to, him to send me both of these because I want to somehow mix them together into one piece. So it'll be really interesting to see how this works, um, if it works at all. We'll see. We'll find out. But I'm really, really excited because there's some line work. There's also kind of like the free flow of the scrapes. So um, yeah, it should be it should be a really, really fun process to do. You're doing okay cleaning the living room and getting ready for a shoot today. Awesome. What are you guys shooting uh are you doing bestiary today so actually this is something for my other audience members who are in the audience um well audience members who are in the audience that was brilliant ah oh, boy so emmy and scott are part of adventurers pack which you've seen in the chat before um they run three shows throughout the week. There is on Sundays, the pack plays where Josh from the Adventures Pack and Scott are currently playing the forest on Mondays. Uh, Scott is doing painting in place and he just finished a bigature <laughs> of Cthulhu. And then on Friday evenings at 5 p.m. Pacific time, um, it's the gauntlet, which is Epic, and that comes on usually after my show, um, D and D, but make it fashion, which is at three PM Pacific. So uh, I was excited to do this because you know they're a big, you know Scott's a big part of my life, Emmy's a big part of my life, and Emmy, the offer still stands. If you have anything that you want me to turn into fashion, let me know, and I will make it happen. Um, anyways, so just a quick note: I might be a little bit extra, like dumb today or just out of it i did not get to bed until 6 a.m and then i only got like about three hours of sleep so uh yeah 
Life is fine. <laughs> Anyways, I am going to start how I start most of my things, which is by taking the opacity on this layer down. Create a new layer, get my inking tools out, and I should, let's see, bring this down just a little bit. I, I did get some rest, it's, you know, kind of like what I was talking to you guys about last night. I just, the joys of having anxiety and a little bit of depression and stuff just kind of all mixing it together. I'm feeling better today for the most part. Um, you know, it just takes some gently and lovingly kicking your own ass, if that makes sense. But as always, good vibes are always welcome, <laughs> please. <laughs> Okay, so it's just going to be a really chill stream today. Do, 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 do. I just realized I need to turn my streamline back up. There we go. Another thing, so because... Also, I'm trying a new pose today. This is um, from the casual. I haven't done before. So I'm really, really excited to see how this translates into how the clothing falls on the body. Um, I will throw it out there to the chat what you would like to see today because um, I, I never but also if there's anything in particular that you would like to see today let me know and we'll see if we can make it happen oh good this model has all of her fingers The one that I did on Monday was missing a pinky on both hands. And that's, like, that's fine. I just don't think it was intentional. Becca, how are you? 
I am doing okay. It's been a rough couple of days, just <laughs> mentally. It's been a rough couple of days, so. I'm doing okay. Can't say I'm doing great, but I'm surviving, so. <laughs> but how are you doing? This pose is so badass. Like, I just, I love it. I'm glad you're good. That's good. You know, and it's, you know, it's fine. <laughs> it's, I need to find a new word to say, like, where it's like, it's not fine, it's not okay, but like, it is what it is. And I'm just rolling with the punches with life. So, you know, Aww. I do love that kid. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we can do that later. Is we have a little bit of a FaceTime. I'll need to do that with my other nephews and niece. Okay. So what are we thinking today? To die, wow. Um, what are we thinking today as far as what direction? I'm gonna leave it up to the chat. Like, I love being directed by you guys and just coming up with stuff. Um, the first thing I guess I'll do though is drop the opacity here. Do we want avant garde? Do we want more streetwear? Do we want. Um, don't know business do we want red carpet like throw some stuff out here and in the meantime yeah there is a lot of geometry here these are very like vertical pieces here while this is a lot more organic yeah, you're you're right, Becca. It is like it's okay to not be okay. <laughs> um, okay, so we have some casual business. We have some streetwear. Okay, cool. Art Deco fantasy streetwear. Wow. <laughs> Let's see, I need to write that down on a layer. Okay. And I quote, Art Deco. Fantasy. Streetwear. Something that you wear to a meeting and pop a couple of buttons to wear to a club. Okay. So we want this to be convertible, biz to club, and back again. So it's casual business. Okay. So first I'm going to get rid of the lines that I made over here so I don't distract myself. Okay. Let's do like a collar. It's just been unbuttoned. Collared shirt. And then maybe like, let's do a high-waisted pant with this one.
And who doesn't love layers, right? Well, I did just do a vest. I was thinking I would do a vest, but I, I literally, like, a couple of streams ago did a vest. Really? Okay. I swear, they need to turn that intersection into a four-way stop. Because... <laughs> dangerous. Yeah, I think I can get away with another vest if I do this. So I think what I'm gonna do... Just kind of make it more of a unisex vibe, so something that's a little bit more androgynous. So like the, the shirt will be a little bit more pooched out, less form-fitting than some of my other work. And then I'm popping these uh, cuffs. up here and then oops What if we actually go with like a long vest cardigan type thing? So like... Maybe we'll have like a belt loop here. give her like more like a, a flare cut pant so not quite a bell bottom but something with some room
and I do like the idea of a heal, but this pose does not really lend itself to a heal. So maybe I'll do... Like a... King Louis shoe. Like just a small, small heal. Yeah, exactly. This is like a trouser. A trouser? Wow. It's like a trouser. Oh, to get rid of some of that little excess fluff up there. There we go. And I think definitely... Oops, come on. Like a bracelet or two or three. <laughs> Maybe we can do like the tattoo on this side or something. I don't know. I've never drawn a tattoo. Like, I've drawn tattoos, but I haven't drawn. You know what I mean? <laughs> That would be very streetwear, yeah. Yeah, I like the idea of like this being like a little rogue boardroom by day and club thieving by night. Kibbings. So I like that sketch. Um, And the stripe continues asymmetrically through the hood from the vest. I don't know where you're putting the stripe. I'm just... Oh, ha! 
Yeah, I was assuming I would do it in the vest or in the pants. I think um, the pants need to stay somewhat businessy, but this hooded vest thing is like the thing that you pop on before you go to the club. Um, like the thing that you pop, like you know, like, oh, wow, the CEO is such a bad bitch. Like, she's so cool, um, or they're so cool, whoever this person is. And uh, then they take off their hoodie and they're wearing their, you know, buttoned up shirt. And at this point, their sleeves would be rolled down, you know, just in case. I don't know. Maybe it's a cool company. And like, you're allowed to be cool. Um, yep. Okay, so I'm just gonna drop the opacity a little bit. And move, come on, move on to a proper inking session. Okay. Oh boy, I'm already screwing up. I did that little wiggle there in order to create like some fabric flow. Actually, I think I still need to turn up. Oh, I'm using the wrong brush. That was weird. I thought it looked funny. So this is kind of silly, but um, I like to start on the top layer and then move down. And I know that's not what you do in a lot of cases, like you build up from the bottom. But for this particular sketch, I think it's important to start with this top layer. So now I'm just putting in the belt. So I want to make sure that I add a couple of little wrinkles there before it reaches the cuff, because that just makes sense.
that's the Crudwick tongue that I was talking about on Monday. Wow. So I like the style of collar. It's it's not really a Mandarin collar, but it's not like quite as pointy as some collars. So it's like it makes it even a little bit more androgynous. I'm not gonna lie, I'm taking a little bit of inspiration from LP, one of the the musical artists that Scott and Emmy introduced me to who I am absolutely in love with, so. Buttons. So I'm adding those same waves to the pants a little bit, again, because there's more fabric on these. They're not skin tight, so they're going to have a little bit more movement, a little bit more um, fold, fold. I kind of like the idea of these being slip-ons. So I'm kind of putting this like middle insert there. Um, it looks more inset now. And then I guess we give her some socks. Maybe she can also have some cool Sucks. Although I'm getting like a very androgynous vibe, so I'm like, like I don't want to misgender my own model. Wow. Um, they're going to be a they. That's, that's just going to be what this is. Uh, last, because I want to try a new technique with that. And then the tattoo I'll do last as well that don't let me forget that I'm going to do a tattoo and jewelry. Don't forget the daggers, rogues have daggers. Hi, Alex. <laughs> they do have daggers. Um, maybe I'll add a dagger. We'll see. I don't know. I don't really want to go to like character arty on this one because I'd like to do that by hand if possible. Like instead of sketching over it. <sighs> it's gone. Brain. Gone. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking the hoodie vest situation is going to be kind of inspired by the paintings here. And then the these motifs as almost like a Hawaiian shirt, but more subtle than that, if that And to do that, it's time to make a palette. Down like, oh, I bet it went down here somewhere, huh? So this is gonna be the Scott Leslie palette. I like this yellow. I like that it has multiple tones. Hell yeah. Okay, 
I was about to say. What I like is that even though this is probably a true black, um, because of the reflection of both the, of, of the canvas and the acrylic, I'm assuming this is acrylic. Correct me if I'm wrong, Scott, but I, I'm pretty sure this is acrylic. Um, it's more of like a really, really dark gray or a light black. So I'll be able to use that as a base without really ruining the shading and stuff. Like I'll still be able to shade. Okay, so what these lack in color, uh, they, they have a lot of visual drama in, in other ways, if that makes sense. So like those strong vertical lines that are right around the golden ratio. Uh, so I'm gonna wanna make sure that I bring that into play. For the pants, I am thinking I might, I might give her like a nice pair of yellow slacks, essentially. Like nice, these are nice, nice pants. So before I move on from this layer, I am gonna add like a seam line. And what do we do? I'm thinking like a little snap here, I guess. Okay. So for the shirt, I want like a, a parchment color. Oops. <laughs> um. So it's like it's almost like this yellow, but like more parchmenty brown. And we'll do the pants on another layer. Again, I know I mentioned this in almost every single one of my streams, but I like to do the gar like the individual garments or individual pieces on their own layers because it's way easier to do like the overlays and such and the shading on those when they're all um, separate. <clears throat> Hydration. I have some country peach passion tea today. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for the vest, I am going to go with the dark gray. I might have to change the color of the shirt because that's it's something's just not reading super right with me. So that's
Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to change the shirt color just a little bit. I think I need to make it a teensy bit lighter and less colorful. I know it's it's very bland looking, but because we are having these bright chartreuse pants and this intensely dark hoodie that's going to have, again, another bright color coming into it, I want to make sure that the shirt is playing its role in the outfit, but it's not overtaking the rest of the outfit. There's, there's a certain point where too much becomes too much. You know, like, it's just as, as simple as that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, this is reading more magenta on the screen than I think they are in real life. I guess this was like a primary red, you know, or a burgundy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do more of like an optically Ink the belt loops. Also, I hope you're enjoying the music today. Ugh, I love it. So I know this is going to be crazy, but I'm tempted to do, like, top stitching in this red color. Like, what if we, what if we did, like, a top stitch? Okay, this is what's happening. Because we need to give her pockets. First of all, what kind of monster would I be if I denied this woman pockets? And then, mm, what layer do I want to put that on? We'll do this. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that top stitching. Like, I know you can't see it super well, but like I can see, it. I know that it's there. <laughs> and let's do it just around the hood. You know, that's what I am learning, is that I just need to go with my gut and be crazy. That's something that this program, or this, pro this program, um, what this stream has kind of helped me do and has taught me is just going with the flow and just do whatever my gut tells me I should do. Is one of my okay. Whew. I heard something shift behind me, and uh, I was worried to what it was because the cats are both asleep. Um, it was one of my character chronicles that's currently drawing. I did some. I inserted some magnets just before my stream, so they would dry, and I can add the other magnets at the end of the stream. And then add some leather, and I have a whole other batch that's ready to go out to this post office.
Yeah, I'm definitely learning how to be more spontaneous with this process. And I love it. It makes me really happy. All right, let's think about where this woman works, where she can wear bright chartreuse pants and a cute blouse, and then what kind of club she's gonna go to wearing this outfit. Like, what's, what's her story? What's their story? Ah. Time to play the game of what layer is that dot on? Found it. <laughs> Oh, the shoes! I almost forgot the shoes. <laughs> that would have been a travesty. So for the shoes, she pretends to be working at a finance conglomerate. <laughs> but she's really a hacker in disguise. Okay. She actually, no, we need to make the belt and the shoes match. <laughs> I just, I can't. As for socks, you know, I'm not. I don't know about socks for her. Like, what? She hacks the mainframe using SQL. Oh my god. Could you imagine? Okay, maybe she can wear pink socks. I'd say one does want a hint of color, but, like, she's got way more than a hint of color going on here. We're gonna try this color for the blouse. It's a little bit warmer. This other one is a little bit like putty color. Yeah. That's that's way better. It's less of a putty and just more of a, a very light pale, pale, pale yellow. Oh, I, I figured that comment was for Alex. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Okay, I want to shade the pants first. I'm... <laughs> I just, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued to see how this goes on 
this one. Uh, pants and it's already equipping mask. I need this to be multiply. So I think I actually need to dull that yellow a little bit more. Too much blending. There we go. I don't know that phone number. So I'm thinking her pants are probably like a really nice woven cotton, so we're not going to be able to see any texture on it really because of, of the thread count, so that one we're not going to texturize much. For the hoodie, I want it to be kind of, I want some like some texture to it, you know, just kind of to mimic the canvas, but I don't want it canvasy texture. So I'm going to go ahead and pop above. Did I already add a layer above that? Where did I? Oh, that's the line art, the top stitching layer. Derp, derp, derp. Okay. So for this, I am going to use a darker shade of the same color. And I'm going to find... I want that one. Let's see. I like the idea of rusted decay. Maybe let's try clay. And I want this to be an overlay. That is the wrong brush. Clay. There we go. Okay, that was almost right. Okay. Like, doesn't that just add a little bit of extra intrigue? What fabric is that made out of? I don't know. Then, on top of that layer, we're going to pull out that red again. And we want to do turpentine for this one. Let's try Salamanca. How big are you? too big. And then...
think I might have a way to make that. Huh. Anyways, like I really, I really like this hooded vest. Oof. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I know how I would make that. I, yeah. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to do another layer about that, and this is going to be my shading layer. And go back to my airbrush. And I'm just going to increase the size of that a little bit. Just need to go in and make sure that I get this shaded properly. It's kind of hard because the shading is a little dark, but that's okay. I mean, that's how it would be in real life, you know? Like, if you're wearing dark clothing, the shadows that are on that dark clothing are going to be darker. That's just how it is. That does make me think, though, I need to go back to the pants layer and do yet another round of darkening, like, right here. And right here. And right here. And then blend that just a tiny, tiny bit. Beautiful. Okay. Where is my blouse? Okay. And for this one, I'm going to go back to my inking here. I said inking. And go back to like a really dark. I think I'm just gonna go with the pitch black here. And she's wearing a map shirt, y'all. That's hard to do when there's not a lot of um, detail that I can get in there. Their shirt is a treasure map. Smart. 
sure. <laughs> God, see, this is the other thing is like I used to make maps when I was younger. Um, Emmy, you'd probably remember me making these in like physics class and chem. So it's like knowing that Scott does this far better than I did. Um, makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, and her hometown, her hometown sits right above her heart. Again, it's really hard to do with this level of not not detail. I like the idea of having a, cons a contrasting collar and cuff.
<laughs> That's a very good question. And I don't have an answer for you. Because the shirt, I think I could get made. Because um, doing this one by hand, I think, would be rough. Um, the vest, I definitely have to do by hand. Yes, Rowan. Hi, buddy. Is it time for you to come hang out on my lap? Let me readjust with the cat. <laughs> Change the the stream is now cats. This I mean, it is. Look at this beauty. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna need you to uh, pause and reflect on that statement. You're welcome to stay, but you can't headbutt me while I'm working. Lay over here. Pretend. Ooh, those are some claws. <laughs> oh, and I did all of that on the wrong layer. Oh, Benjamin, you fool. It's okay, I didn't love the compass rose. Ooh, blowing those paws. Hi, Patty.
He just digs in his paws. Oops, I just dropped my pen trying to move my camera. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Nope. Let's not step on that. Okay. Let's... Yeah, I love compass rose roses. Is <laughs> wow. That was a big yawn, Rowan. Scratch your head on my pencil, please. These to be like cliffs. I need to make sure that I don't turn into like, oh, I'm just making a map now. <laughs> I do miss that though. Like, I. I'm really enjoying this part.
Okay, that looks really cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm like legit really effing pleased with that shirt. Wow. And now time to ruin it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just, just gonna shade it. I'm actually gonna use the same tone sure that that layers multiply, yes indeed. Put this air to air brushing. I'm gonna have to make three. <laughs> I I might uh I'm gonna have to see. I think there's a way that I can actually get this done. Um it would require me to sew them, but I think I can get them printed. Uh ugh. or I can go thrifting for some shirts and uh change them. Hi, Rowan. <laughs> Thank you for gracing me with your presence for a few minutes. You know, that's one thing about cats is like they're super sweet, but man, when they leave you, you're like, oh, oh, okay, it's fine. But also conversely, like, when they choose to sit on your lap, or if, like, you go, oh, You chose me? So this is kind of in shadow here. I'm just gonna, we're gonna bring in, yeah, I like this color for the shadow better. a little bit more obvious without being too bad. Unfortunately, I think that will be a very expensive shirt. <laughs> like looking at it, it's like I know I know the work that would require that would be required of me putting it in there. So, or the work required of me to get it made to make it. I told you this was going to be a weird stream. Like this is what happens when you don't sleep. I don't like it.
So I'm just adding a little bit of highlight to these shoes. Because I, I like to imagine that they're like a patent leather or something. Or even a satin if they are the Louis XIV shoes. I'm still not in love with the shading of the pants. Like, I think it's a texture thing. I mean, I guess... I'll use that and then put this below that one. Okay. Yeah, even that little bit of texture really helped. Oh, not yeah. I need to add a button. because I'm using the wrong bloody brush. I haven't even done anything with the belt. That's not the belt. Sweet. I do have a Patreon now. Why don't I do a quick plug since my uh, lovely socials have shown up in chat. So yes, I, I was sitting on my Patreon for like over a year and a half. It was basically when I learned that I was going to go to Vancouver Fashion Week, I started making a Patreon and then I never launched it. So I did some edits to it this week. 
and I officially launched it. So I have a Patreon that you can go and if you want to support me, um, that would be wonderful. I already have one patron, which I, who I believe is in the audience still, Becca, thank you so much. Um, and then I also have a Discord for those who would like to pop in and chat. I also have a gallery in that Discord of all of the past finished products, I guess, is what I would say, of all the sketches. I might also start adding like the replays there. Um, what else? Oh yes, for anyone who wasn't here at the beginning, I'm also, I've added a ton of prints that are available in my store at benjamincollin.com under the category butt make and fashion so you can get any of my prints done in a couple of different excuse me sizes of canvas a lot of different sizes of poster and those can be either matte or glossy they call it luster but it's a glossy poster um so those go from like 10 inches square all the way up to 18 inches square and the canvases are a different size so oh hi mom welcome i was just plugging all of my stuff <laughs> when you when you entered so uh what else is new mm. nothing that i can think of so Okay, so I'm going to move on to her, them. I should get really much better about that. That's okay. This is my new reference layer here. It's okay. Have you been painting all day? Because, believe me, I'm, I'm right there with you. Okay, I know I have a skin tone palette somewhere. You mean this one right here? Thank you. Yeah, I'm so pleased with how this has turned out. Okay, I clicked the right layer. That was some BS. Have you been working on that barn, I'm assuming? going on here. <laughs> oh, right, and CJ's painting. I forgot. That looks beautiful, by the way. It looks absolutely stunning.
still waiting on those daggers. Should I? Should I really add a, like? I mean, I guess I'll do it. Also, I just want to say, I feel like my shading game is on point today. I figured you weren't, Becca. Like, I can tell in how you type. Um...
Oh, we'll do a new layer. Well, let's do that first.
Sorry, I totally just zoned out into my own little world there. <laughs> um, that's how you know you're in the zone. Yeah, I'm glad that you're loving these details. It's, you know, I'm trying to get better at doing them because I love it, personally. And I think they really make the whole outfit, you know? For me, it's almost as if I'm styling, you know, for a photo shoot or something. I'm like, okay, this is the type of model that I want for this garment. This is the type of look that I want. Here are the accessories that I want. Exactly. It's the deets that make it pop. Oh. Thank you, I think, um... What is your name here? <laughs> I know your real name, but I don't want to divulge it. Thank you, if you're watching. <laughs> I'll have to take a look at what you just ordered. Um, let's give her a thumb ring, too. I want to know this person. Like, am I the am I the only one? Like, I want to be like, hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm mood and just like not in a great headspace for the last couple of days, but right now. I am, I am like up here. I am very pleased. <laughs> okay. Let's see, technical pen. We're gonna try something different today. Oh 
I guess we don't really need this light. Kapow! Yeah, Mom. <laughs> I love it. Reference layer. Boom. Well, let's add. Three layers below that. Lion's Tooth, there you are. Okay, I couldn't remember your username. I saw your name name and like, I was like, oh yes, that's this person in chat. And then I just had a moment of like, I couldn't remember your username. So, thank you. Um, thank you so much. I'll make sure that I get that processing right after my stream. And then it'll probably go out pretty close after that. So, I'm glad that you liked that one. Oh, wrong layer. That's what I want to do is now go to this layer, add a layer, clipping mask, multiply. Not that much textures. Then for this one, we'll do the same kind of thing. Just we're going to come at it from this angle. All right, see ya, Mom. I'll, I will call you or you can call me tomorrow whenever you're ready i'll be around so lots of love boardroom by day back alley by night she's going to hacksaws the internet Let me just tell you, and she didn't have to defend herself from anybody. They had to defend themselves from her. They said something to her that they should not have said. <laughs> so she was like, mm, be right back, y'all. <laughs> she owns the club. That's what I'm going to say. She owns the club. Mm-hmm. 
if it were really gruesome, I would put like a little pool of blood in the corner, but I'm good. <laughs> okay, I think it is time to wrap this up. Um, oh, where do I want to put this layer? Okay, we'll just put it on top as per usual. <laughs> See, this is why I do this, guys. I love it. Oh, also, um, so Friday is D&D &D but make it fashion. And the, um, the prompt this week is doppelganger. And if I'm not mistaken, doppelgangers can, like, take the form of pretty much anything. Correct me if I'm wrong, actually. Oh, hi, Mike. Welcome. Um, yeah, Emmy or Scott? You guys, yeah, you guys, no. You have done Doppelganger on the Bestiary. I'm going to rewatch that episode because um, I, I have ideas for Doppelganger. Oh, reference layer on. Du -du -du -du. Let's drop some red in there. And then add some text. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought that there was a beast here. I was trying to remember, like, where D-O comes in the alphabet, because I know you're on dragons right now. And I was like, does D-O... Um, I call this piece text. No. Um, I actually call this piece Oops. Call this the stranger. Ah, I love it. Oh, my God, I love it. And then this might seem really silly. Is the opposite of this. <gasps> no, I did it on the wrong layer. That's okay. <laughs> oh, thanks, Scott. I also need the vest. Like, everyone needs this vest. I, uh, I love it. So, all right, everybody. So this is The Stranger using art from Mr. Scott Leslie and inspired a little bit by his style and transformed into a business casual convertible style that can go from boardroom to club just by a little bit of a quick change essentially um and i'm going to see about figuring out how i can make this shirt and this vest a 
a real thing. Because I need both the shirt and the vest in my life. Not the pants. I'm, I don't like to wear loud pants, uh, if possible. So I would wear them with gray or something. Um, but I like to think that she's a loud rogue, in my opinion. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to catch me this Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific when I do D&D &D But Make It Fashion right before the gauntlet, which starts at 5 p.m. Pacific, and we will all head head the a group of friends, and they are going through the gauntlet right now on Friday nights, Friday evenings, Friday, yeah, Friday evening nights. Um, <laughs> anyways, so come check them out, hang out with me in the chat as I mod, and then on Monday, we'll be back here for the final installment of Art But Make It Fashion. And I, I believe I'm going to work on either something from Emmy if, if she wants to, um, or I have something from my uncle that isn't really art, but I might do anyway. And then next Wednesday, um, we're going to start our series on musical theater and and the style of musical theater artists so uh it's gonna be fun i need to make a list for before monday of i'm gonna say a, a list of 10 for each um yeah yeah i'll do a list of 10 for each so 10 broadway musicals and 10 broadway stars and then we'll just mix and match. We'll just do a random number generator and go for it. So that'll be interesting. So I'll do the, the first one on Monday to do the actual drawing. And then, uh, and by drawing, I mean, not the sketch, but figuring out what musical I'm doing and who I'm working on. Uh, and then I'll actually do it on Wednesday. because I want to be able to research their personal styles. I want to research the uh, actual art that I'll be looking at. So we'll do that. And as always, please check out all of my different socials. I will go ahead and plug those one last time. Uh, boop. Um, and of course, Emmy, you're welcome. I, I love you guys so much. And I... I don't know. I love hanging out with you guys and being part of the team. So thank you for letting me do that. I hope all of you have a wonderful rest of your week. I hope to see you on Friday at 3 p.m. Um, or in the Discord in between now and then. That is totally great for me, please. And I hope you all just stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe, and stay creative. And I will see you in the next episode of But Make It Fashion. Thanks, guys.